we will discuss about Indian polity, how we have to do Indian polity. Indian polity, geography, history, economics, these four subjects together are called as big four, very important. If you are planning for 2024 or 2025, if you are very confident on this four subjects, big four, polity, economy, history, geography, your UPSC preparation, 80 percent of your UPSC preparation is completed. Why? The polity current affairs will be covered with respect to Indian polity current affairs, economy is current affair oriented, geography is current affair oriented, only history is static. In that art and culture, if the focus is more, your 80 to 90 percent will be completed. So, first I want you to understand, first you, you, you need to understand that, <coughs> let it be, let it, let it be. If you want to understand big four, means you need to understand that these four subjects are core, polity, economy, history and geography. And in this, I will not tell that polity is great or history is great or economy is great or geography, four are equally important. That is the reason they are called as big four. So, first you have to plan your preparation such that you have to master your four subjects. You have to master this big four. That is the reason here we emphasize on big four very, very rigorously. High end faculty as well as costly faculty also I have to tell. For example, history sir, Rasul sir, say last 12 years, polity me and Santosh Rao sir, both we will be teaching Indian polity. Economy, economy, there will be a time for you, at that time you have to open, the class will be disturbed. Okay? Economy, it will be Nisha Nijumuddin madam, already she came from Delhi and tomorrow you will be having the classes. Economy, Delhi faculty as well as from Kerala, Madras, etcetera, etcetera, she will be teaching. And from geography also you are having two faculties, one is Srihari sir and Vijay sir. So, both are very, very serious. Why? Because this big four are very important. When you are strong on this big four, your UPSC prelims preparation or mains preparation or interview preparation will be a cakewalk. So, today I am going to explain you about Indian polity, how the preparation should be there, how we have to go, the syllabus. You know, for the UPSC two things are Bibles, here we have two Bibles. One Bible is called as syllabus copy, another Bible is called as PYQs. One Bible is called as syllabus, other Bible is PYQ. If you are strong, if you understand properly, if you understand, if you understand properly, that is syllabus and previous year's questions, PYQ, previous year's questions, then you will know the pattern of questions. You will understand the syllabus. So, first I will decode the syllabus, then I will go with PYQs also. Accordingly, you have to plan that how the preparation should be. So, Indian polity. So, Indian polity, what, what we will read in this Indian polity, what we will understand in this Indian polity. Indian polity is nothing but constitution, Rajangam. The constitution of India we will be studying in the Indian polity. Static part is Indian polity, application part of Indian polity is called as governance, dynamic part of Indian polity is called as governance, current affairs part of Indian polity is called as governance, whereas static part is called as Indian polity. What is Indian polity? Means what is the constitution of India? What is present inside the constitution of India? How the constitution of India was been designed? What are the provisions which are present in the constitution? When we read about the constitution of India, when we understand about the constitution of India, that means we are understanding Indian polity. Sir, what is constitution? Constitution is nothing but like a book. A constitution is nothing but a, a book in which the provisions of the constitution means how the country should run, what are the fundamental rights given to the citizens, what are the responsibilities given for the government, directive principles of state policy, what are the duties given to the citizens, fundamental duties, those all are written in a book. So, how the administration should run, what are the citizens rights, what are the duties of the government, what are the duties of the citizens, these all things are written in one particular book, that particular book is called as constitution of India. 
So, what are the things which are present in that book is called as what is constitution. So, what are the things which are present in the constitution means what are the things which are written in this book. So, that articles we need to read and remember, but not all articles are important there are some specific articles which are important those specific articles we need to remember. So, first thing is how and what of the constitution means how the constitution came into existence, how this book came into existence and what is present in the book. How of the constitution, what of the constitution. If you became a civil servant, how you became civil servant and what you are civil servant means how you became, where you took or where you, who are your mentors, where you were written your tests, how you became a civil servant, what, what I were, I studied for 12 hours, I studied for 10 hours, these are the books, these are my teachers, how and what of your success. Similarly, how and what of constitution. So, first thing in Indian polity means we have to properly understand our constitution. And for every Indian citizen, there is no Bible, there is no Quran, there is no Bhagavad Gita, our sacred book is constitution. And for every civil servant, what is a major important rule of law is constitution of India. We have to abide by the constitution of India. So, what are all the provisions which are present and for which we are abiding is part of how and what of the constitution, number one. Number two, understanding of the constitution means samajna chahiye usko, oh wali constitution mein kya hai, what are the things which are present in the constitution, we have to understand it, understanding of the constitution. Oh, the constitution is talking about egalitarianism, equality, constitution is talking about fraternity, constitution is talking about republic, what are this? Republic means elected person will be ruling the country not a hereditary, elected person will be ruling the country, but not the son of the king, not hereditary republic we are, democratic we are people will be electing the ruler, democratic, secular all the religions are equal before the eyes of the government. So, this is called as understanding of the constitution, constitution ke andar kya kya hai, wo cheez ko hum samajna padega. So, understanding of the constitution. Third, in that, so who is going to take care about this constitution, who is going to run this constitution means central government, system of central government. Who are there in the central government, president, vice president, council of ministers, prime minister, this all together is called as central government. So, we will be understanding everything about central government. Then federal system, we do not have only central government, whether we have only central government, we have also state governments. That central government and state government relationships are called as federalism. That system is called as federal system. So, India is what? Federal system. Why? Because it is not like UK. In UK only one central government will be there and that central government will be sitting in London. But in India, we have two governments, one government at Delhi, another government at Hyderabad, another government at Bangalore, another government at Madras, another government at Mumbai, yes or no? So, two forms of governments, central and state governments, when they are working together, that particular system is called as federal system. After the class, if you go out, if someone asks you, so you are polity first class completed, no, what is mean by federalism, you tell me means just you have to tell. There will be two forms of governments will be there, one will be at the center, other will be at the state. So, if the two governments, how they are working, how they are coordinating together is a part of federal system. So, this thing where we will be studying in the constitution. Next, judiciary. Who will be looking after whether the governments are following the constitution of India or not? What is that rule of law? Everyone should follow rule of law. If I, if, if one person killed another person, we will open the Indian Penal Code. We, we will open the Indian Penal Code. In the Indian Penal Code, we will open criminal procedure code. Oh, oh, he killed. So, for the killing, 14 years of rigorous punishment. Go him, give him 14 years of rigorous punishment. Robbery. Oh, he did robbery, give him three months of imprisonment. So, that particular everything in a written format, if it is written, whether there will be clarity or not? If everything is written, whether there will be clarity or not? Yes or no? If one nuisance happened outside, a person he did a nuisance outside, for example, a EU teasing person, a person did EU teasing, I will open the book. So, for EU teasing, what is the punishment? Oh, this is the punishment, give him punishment. 
the person who is doing the crime he had knowledge on the constitution or he had the knowledge on the law he also know for that crime what punishment is going to get what do you mean by teasing you write down all your doubts at a point you dismiss teasing a girl the examples these all are so for one particular act for one particular act what the punishment he is going to get if there is a clarity if there is a certainty whether we the, the procedure is easy or tough you are coming at class 2 o'clock you blindly come you will sit why because you know that compulsory 2 o'clock class will happen 4 o'clock blindly you will come you will sit why because a message was been typed and posted yesterday night in your group that tomorrow there is a class at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So, whether certainty and clarity will be there in your mind or not, whether you will be comfort or not, yes. Why? Because they had written it, they had written it and they had sent me. If they do not keep the class, then what I will do? What man this? What it is written? 2 to 4 class is there, why you are not keeping the class? If you do not keep the class, you have to tell me now, I came from the so much distance, whether you will ask or not. What it is? Clarity, certainty, the constitution is providing what? Certainty to us, constitution is providing what? Clarity to us, how the government should run, it is already written in the constitution, how the federal system will work, it is written in the constitution, what type of punishment this person is going to get is mentioned in the Indian penal code. So, this all will be checked by whom? Judiciary, this all will be checked by whom? Judiciary whether everything is going according to the procedure or not, whether everything is working according to the constitution or not. If everything is clarity, I also know I am sitting at home. I got, I, today I am seeing a newspaper, in that newspaper or I am watching a live news channel, in that live news channel I came to know that one person or prime minister of India was being killed. So, one prime minister and, and the person who killed the prime minister, for example, prime minister and he came and he surrendered to the police station, I am the person who killed the prime minister of India then I will open the rule book. I am sitting at home also I know, it might be a prime minister or a common man, murder is a murder. So, he will be getting 14 years of regress, sitting at home I will tell that this person will get 14 years of regress imprisonment, why because it is written. So, the greatness of the constitution of India is it is a written document, there is a clarity, there is a certainty how the government will be running, what are the basic rights the individuals are happening, are having. For example, I am walking on the road, I am walking on the road, suddenly a police people came and they picked me and kept inside the police jeep and then took me out. Are I, what I did when I am walking on the road, you people lifted me and took me to the police station, some other place. I will go to the judiciary and I, my brother or my family member or my friend, someone will go. He was walking, CC camera recorded, the police has been lifted or some other lifted, now we do not know then they will go to the judiciary, the judiciary will look, oh police had been, within 24 hours you have to put in front of the magistrate, why you did not put in front of the magistrate. So, what everything is running according to rule book, the rule book is called as constitution of India. If I give a schedule to you, this day, this syllabus, this day like how we gave for economy, before coming to the class whether you will refer or then come or not, why because you have a detailed schedule in your hands. The detailed schedule is nothing but the constitution of India. So, who will be protecting the constitution of India? Everything is running according to the constitution of India or not, who will be checking it? Judiciary. judiciary. So, all the things with respect to judiciary is present in the constitution of India. System of state government, how the central government will function, how the state, state government will function. So, how the central government will function, how the state, I no need to get any confusion. I no need to get any confusion. Why? Why? Because how the central government is running, they are running according to the constitution of India. Suddenly Narendra Modi if tells that hey, everyone, now onwards only Hindutva example, now onwards only Hinduism is a religion, whether judiciary will accept it? No. Why? Because judiciary will be checking whether everything will be running according to the constitution or not. What is written in the constitution? Secularism is written in the constitution. What is secularism? All the religions are equal. 
Why you are telling India is going to be a Hindutva country? No. So the judiciary will come and tell, hey, don't tell like that. This is violation of constitution. Why? Because it is already written in the constitution. So how the central government will function, how the state government will function, how the judiciary will function, these all things are present where? In the constitution of India. So constitution will give us a clear idea how the central government should function, how the state government should function, how the center and state relation should be there, how the judiciary will function, these all things will be present in the constitution of India. System of state government. Then local governments. We have in villages, we have Panchayat Raj institutions. In urban areas, in Hyderabad, we have corporators. We have mayors, local governments, how the panchayat, grama sabhas, gram panchayats, how these grama sabhas will be functioning, how this gram panchayat will be functioning, how the urban local bodies will be functioning, where it is written? In the constitution of India. So, how the village administration should run is also present in the constitution of India. So, there is a certainty, there is a clarity. At the grassroot level, there is a clarity. At the highest level, also there is. Killing a prime minister or a common man is same and at the grassroots level in the village also how the administration should run, where it is written? Constitution. About local bodies, constitutional bodies, Rajanga Baddamayana 20 bodies, constitutional bodies. Election Commission of India, now elections are coming up. Who will conduct the elections? Election Commission of India. So, how the election commission of India will be appointed? Who are the members in the election commission of India? What are the duties of the election commission of India? What are the powers of the election commission of India? These all are present where there will be constitutional bodies present in the constitution book. You are a civil servant, you are going to become an IAS officer. You people are going to become an IPS officer. About you, where it is written? It is written in the article 311 of the constitution. About you also it is mentioned in the constitution and article 311. No one can remove you if you become an IAS officer. No one can remove you if you become an IPS officer. Why? Because you got a constitutional protection. Why? Because about you where it is written? The constitution of India. If they are removed according to their wish, then the judiciary will come. Hey man, why you are re removing? See there it is already written. Then the government will keep quiet. Or a person who want to take revenge on you will keep quiet. Why? Because it is written in the constitution of India. Constitutional bodies. There are some non-constitutional bodies also we will be reading in this particular means who are not present in the book, who are not present in the non-constitution -con of India like CBA is not present, like Central Vigilance Commission not present, Central Information Commission not present means these all are there in your syllabus constitutional bodies, non-constitutional bodies, committees and competition recommendation. There will be some exclusive committees will form. Like when Telangana agitation was happening, one committee was formed if you remember Sri Krishna committee. So, that Sri Krishna committee will study and tell that whether there is a necessity to form the Telangana state or not. Means, one expert committee body will form and they will study. That also we will be studying in Indian polity. Means, I am telling you what all you have to study in this subject. What all you have to study number one? What all you have to study? How and what of the constitution? Number two, understanding of the constitution. Number three, system of central government. Number four, federal system, center and state. Fifth, judiciary. Sixth, state government. Seventh, local governments. Eighth, constitutional body. Nine, non-constitutional body. Ten, committees and commission recommendations. If we have command over this ten topics, if you have command over these 10 topics, your Indian polity is completed. Your Indian polity is completed and this Indian polity will be helpful for your state public service commission, for your RBA exam, for your SSC exam, for your bank exam, any exam which you write in India. This is the only syllabus from Indian polity. So, that is very, very important. So, here in UPSC preparation, you will be reading the highest standard. So, any question you will be able to so, what are the topics which we are we are going to read? What and how the constitution? Number two, understand. understand. Number three, central government. Number four, federal system. Number five, judiciary. Number six, state government. Number seven, number eight, nine, non-constant. Tenth, committees and commission recommendations. 
So, what 1 1 1 I will decode. So, this is broad spectrum. In this broad spectrum, first one is how and what of the constitution in this first we will understand what is the constitution, constitution bole to kya, constitution bole to ek book, nothing, it is just a book, whereby everything is written, give that book, whereby everything is written in this book how the central government, what are the powers of central government, what are the powers of state government, what are the fundamental rights present to the citizen, these all things are present in this books. That book is called as constitution of India. First you have to understand constitutions are the everyone till constitution, what is this sir means? It is nothing but a book, a book in which each and every aspect of running the country is mentioned, each and every aspect of running the country is written. When it is written, whether there will be clarity and certainty or not. See, we will ask our friends or even our parents when they buy something, they will tell that give in written format. If someone tells, please give me 5000 rupees, if we tell orally, that we will not accept. What we will tell? Give in a written format. Why? Written format is permanent. Written format is evidence. When there is written format, there is certainty. When there is written format, there is a clarity. So, that written format of running of the country is present where constitution of India that is constitution. How historical background this also we will be studying here. How this very famous the very vibrant why famous sir I will tell you see eastern European countries Indian subcontinent like Bhutan, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka 1971 Bangladesh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Nigeria, Kenya, Yugoslavia, almost all countries got independence in 1940s. The countries which I used, nearly 20 countries got independence in 1940s, that too after 1945. At a time the British left them. Every country that those examples which I told you, every country made constitution for themselves. They made constitution for themselves, but only India, only India after 75 years of independence, only India is continuing with the constitution, no other country, Pakistan changed the constitution. France, the developed country of the world changed its constitution five times. China does not have constitution, Bangladesh they changed the constitution, Sri Lanka changed the constitution, Bhutan changed the constitution, Nepal changed the constitution, Nigeria so many times, but India is the only country in the world after United States of America continuing with only one constitution. Can you change it? One constitution. so much great, that means everything is present in the constitution. Everything is present in the constitution, there is no requirement of removing it. But according to the time, whenever there is an addition of new things, we started adding it. We started adding it, like for example, secularism was not there, we added secularism. Right to property was there, we removed right to property. Means what are all necessity, we continued, what are all new new things can just we added it, but we never removed the constitution of India. So, that much strong constitution how we made? There might be some history, no? If you become an IAS officer, everyone will ask about what? Tell me, every what will be the common question? How you became? What will be common? 98 percent of the people whom you are coming into, what they will ask? Hey, how you cracked this? Hey, please tell me. No? Means what history? Everyone to know the history. Where is your schooling, where is your college, where you studied, where you took coaching, who is your mentor, how you studied, how many hours you studied, why because they also want to continue the. Similarly, that much strong constitution, so much vibrant constitution and we are following the single constitution means it is necessary to read what? History of that constitution that is called as historical background. Next making of the constitution, making of the constitution, I will give time, making of the constitution, you write all your doubts, 
making of the constitution making of the constitution so how this strong constitution was been made making of the constitution means who made this we tell b r ambedkar is the chairman of the drafting committee whether only he is there rajendra prasad was there vallabhai patel is there jawaharlal nehru is there so how this all people coordinated together to make this successful constitution of india making of the constitution salient provisions of the constitution what are all there in this particular constitution salient features of the constitution for example what democracy is a salient feature of our constitution republic who will be ruling who will be elected but not hereditary yes or no for example if you go to north korea a fat fellow will be there kim jong un kim jong un he is a son of a king so repeating 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 but in india who is ruling who is elected by the people that is our salient provisions means most important provisions of the constitution we will be studying here salient features of the constitution what are all the fundamental rights we have pradhamika hakulu fundamental rights we have derivative principles of state policy we have fundamental duties we have we are secular we are republic we are sovereign we are fraternity so what are all the important points which are present in the constitution we will be discussing in this particular <coughs> preamble like our textbooks which will be having preface how our textbooks will be having preface for our book called as constitution also there is a preface by the name called as preamble which will summarize the constitution of india i cannot read this complete constitution then read this preamble summary of the constitution is present where in the preamble so what are the terms which are present in the preamble what are the objectives present in the preamble what is the nature which is present in the preamble these all things we are present here preamble of the constitution so see i am opening it so in this what we are going to study this is a very big box in this box when i opened it what is the constitution historical background making of the constitution salient provisions of the constitution and the next is in second i am opening up in second understanding of the constitution usme kya hai understanding of the constitution so when i want to understand about the constitution union first i have to understand this understanding of the constitution why because that constitution book is applied everywhere is applied everywhere yes or no so i have to know the states i have to know the uts i have to know the states i have to know the ut union territory so first we will understand union and its territories how many states are there how the states are formed once upon a time there is no maharashtra once upon a time there is no gujarat there is bombay presidency once upon a time there is no andhra pradesh there is madras presidency once upon a time there is no kerala there is a travancore kingdom travancore princely states once upon a time there is no telangana there is nizam state nizam princely states so how the states came into existence today we are having 28 states eight union territories how this came into existence one by one one by one one by one how andhra pradesh came how maharashtra came how gujarat came how uttar pradesh came how bihar came how uttarakhand came how jharkhand came how chatisgad came how odisha came how tamil nadu came how goa came so one 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 each and every individual states so why because our constitution is going to apply on this state and union territories andaman nicobar islands lakshadweep islands daman and dio and dadar nagar haveli chandigarh ladakh jammu and kashmir so how these are pondicherry delhi delhi is also a union territory how this became how delhi became a ut how west bengal became a state these all things we will be understanding in the constitution why because when we know about this then only we can apply constitution citizenship who will be getting the citizenship who will be getting the citizenship if i want to get if my relative is there in america he went to 50 years back and now he want to get the citizenship of india what is the procedure whether we should know no now i got ms seat in america i, I wrote gre and i got ms seat i am studying in usa i got green card also so i got green card means i became the citizen of usa 
then what about the citizenship of India? Whether the citizenship of India will continue, both citizenship will be there. India does not have dual citizenship, India have only single citizenship. Then the government will tell, hey Babu, whether you continue with US citizenship or India, you will not have two. Why? Because India does not have dual citizenship. Fundamental rights. Next is fundamental, pradamika hakkulu, fundamental rights. The most important are human rights, fundamental rights, no untouchability, abolition of untouchability, no child labor, no human trafficking, right to equality, no discrimination, equality of opportunities in public employment, right to life and liberty, right to speech and expression, right to residence, right to movement. So, these are like, yes, I have right to movement. No, if I am walking, if I am going into the park, someone come and tell, hey, Babu, you are cast as this, you should not come inside, means it is violation of my fundamental right. You are from this religion, you are not allowed to come here, means it is violation of, hey, I am a human being, I am a citizen of country, why you will not make me to allow into the bus? Why you will not allow me to enter into the park? Why you will not allow me to enter into the public place? I am also citizen like you. So, who is giving me these rights? Fundamental where it is present constitution the most important you me everyone is having fundamental rights who is guaranteeing it constitution of india is guaranteeing it yes or no fundamental rights articles and its explanations with examples we have to do with relevant judgments so in this fundamental yellow color means units yellow color means in this units Union and its territories, citizenship, fundamental rights, articles, examples, relevant issues involved in new constitutional amendment act, new fundamental rights which came like article 21 a, it is a fundamental right for the children who are from 6 to 14 years to get minimum primary education, very good, minimum primary education, it is a fundamental right, Pradamika, it is my fundamental rights. It is my basic right. If my age is 10 years, so one person told, hey, come and work in my home as a child labor, it is violation of his fundamental, fundamental right. Won't be work as child labor. Articles and its explanation. These are part of fundamental rights. Status of right to property, right to property. Once upon a time, right to property is a fundamental right, but now it is removed. So, we will go deeper. Slowly, slowly we will go into the deeper. What is this right to property? Means, these all things we are, we will be covering it. I am telling you that what all we are going to cover so that you will have a clarity. How the constitution is giving you the clarity through this class, I am going to give you the clarity with respect to what? Indian polity. How constitution is giving you clarity, how the constitution is giving you certainty. In the same way through this class, I am telling you what are all the topics we are going to cover. Directive principles of state policy, see directives means directions in the form of what? Principles to given to whom? State means not state government, everyone understands this. Here when I am using the word constitution means in the constitution, in the constitutional parlance, in the constitutional language, if any time if I use word state means it is not rastram, it is not rastra, it is a government. It is a governing body. So, directions in the form of principles given to the state for making a policy. Well, making a policy, the directions are given to whom? To the state. Who is state? The governing body. So, the directions which are given in the form of principle to the governing body in while well making policies. policies. That is called as directive principles of state, state policy. policy. Directions in the form of principles given to state while making policies. Like what? Please ensure that boys and girls or men and women should get equal opportunity. Please ensure that there should not be any gender discrimination. These are directive principles of state policy. Like uniform civil code is also present in directive principles of state policy under article 44. Last batch we did very good debate. We will also do with simultaneous elections. Are you ready? Simultaneous elections, whether simultaneous election should happen or not. What is simultaneous elections? Newspaper it is coming, no? Uh, 
other will be opportunity to others also. Yes, simultaneous elections means elections will happen simultaneously at center and state. Yes. Means central government the elections will happen and state government also elections will happen across India at one elections at one point of time. It is called as simultaneous elections. I think the bill is going to come. So, so we will have a debate on that whether we have to go with simultaneous elections or we should not go with simultaneous elections. So, what are the principles which are given? What are the directions which are given for the state while making a policy? That is called as directive principles of state policy. Fundamental duties, duty, badhyata, duties. There is not only hakkulu, there is not only right, but also duties. What are my duties? To cherish the freedom movement, to respect national flag, to respect national song, to respect other human beings, to give importance to women scientific temper, these all are what? Du my duty, compulsory, fundamental means what? English meaning of fundamental means? Compulsory, very basic, these are basic duties, fundamental duties, where it is present? Constitution, Constitution of India, they gave rights also, they gave duties also, they gave rights also, they gave duties also. Commissions constituted for fundamental duties. What are the commissions constituted? Basic structure doctrine. There is a concept called as basic structure doctrine. Every time it will be in the news. Keshavananda Bharati case. What is this basic structure doctrine? I will be explaining you. Another is amendments to the constitution, as he rightly said, as he correctly said. Constitution also get amended. Constitution also get changed. Why? Because see, well, independence got whether cyber is there. Whether cyber is there, at least till 1980 there is a concept called as cyber, anyone know? So, now new crimes are coming. What is a new crime? Cyber crime, very dangerous crime. People are committing suicides like anything because of cyber crime. So, such things which are not present at that time, now new new things are coming because of information, communication, technology. So, we need to amend the constitution according to the time. According to the time, we need to change. See, we are now listening the class in online whether 10 years back whether we have online classes. No. So, according to the time we are changing. Similarly, constitution also need to change according to the time. That is called as amendments to the constitution. So, how many amendments were being made? Now, recently 128 constitutional amendment bill was been passed in Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and signed by the President of India. 108 constitutional amendment bill and 128th time we changed the 128th time we attempted to change the constitution. What we did? We gave reservations, 33 percent reservations to women in law making bodies. What are law making bodies? Parliament, state assemblies. Parliament and how I did it? Amendment. So, what are those amendments? What is the procedure for the amendments? How many amendments are there? This all we will be discussing in this amendment of the constitution system of government means now system of central government system of central government so simply system of government or system of central government who are part of central government president of india everything we will be discussing about president of india president of india elections what is the qualification required to become the president of india how the president can be removed what are the powers and functions of President, similarly Vice President, similarly Prime Minister, similarly Council of Minister, similarly Attorney General of India, similarly Parliament of India, Parliament and Public Finance Committees, Comptroller Auditor General of India. So, all the details which are with respect to government functioning, we will be discussing here. So, President kya hota hai, President ka functions kya hota hai, President ka powers what will be there. These all things together we will be discussing under the belt called as federal system. Then what is this federal system? What is this federal system? The relationship between the central government and state government is called as federal system. We will be listening you know, every time state government will tell that the central government is BJP. So, wherever in the state governments BJPs are there, the central government is giving more funds, where the state government is non-BJP, they are not giving. Whether this will tell this is there or this complaint is there or not. Whether this complaint you will be listening, no? 
or or central government every time they are partial to the state government which is run by the bjp government which are non which are non bjp governments in the state the central government will not be taking for example today one acquisition came what is that eight kendriya vidyalayas were been given to uttar pradesh not a single kendriya vidyalaya is given to telangana state the telangana government is accusing kendriya vidyalayas means you have to give everyone equally why you gave for uttar pradesh uttar pradesh is run by which government bjp means what so that relationship is federalism if there is a good relationship then the very good federal if bad relationship bad federal so the relationship between the central and state government is called as federalism that system is called as federal system federal system center state relations i am central you all are states i am central government i am at delhi you all are mumbai chennai hyderabad bangalore lucknow dehradun you all are state governments country means not only central government no country means relationship between the central government and state, state government so there is a need for very good synchronization convergence and relationship between the central government and state, state government that central government and state government if they are working together it is called as federalism if central government and state government both are fighting everyone will laugh or not we are state and center i am teacher you are so if you both are fighting everyone will laugh or not similarly center and state government they should work together they should be a proper understanding between the center and state if they are proper understanding between then the people will be happy if there is a proper understanding with the teacher and the student the subject will glow our ambition is subject should glow in the in the same parallels here also the people should be happy for the people to be happy who should be in a very good relationship central government and state government if the children need to be happy mother and father should be good so father is central government mother is so there is a need for proper synchronization so that particular bond between the central and state government is called as federalism and the system is called as federal system <coughs> in that process interstate relations will be there you know this kaveri river river water dispute everyone know this riveri kaveri river what between which states very good tamil nadu and karnataka tamil nadu and karnataka there is a kaveri river water which is flowing from karnataka and entering into the tamil nadu what karnataka will do they will construct anikat they will stop the water and they will divert it if they stop the water who will suffer who is down tamil nadu tamil nadu is shouting you are stopping the water from kaveri river water beat this the kannada people so there is a conflict between the kannada people and tamil people because of which river so it is not only between the center state relations interstate also federalism means one state should be in good relationship with another state means kannada karnataka should understand no 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 they are my brothers tamil nadu is my bro i have to protect my bro so a good relationship should be between the center and state as well as state and state interstate relations if if any state government is not listening if any state government like kalistan which is happening now in punjab now what is happening in punjab punjabis are asking for what separate, separate country punjabis are asking for what separate country and what is the name of the country kalistan, kalistan. they are asking for a separate country called as kalistan now you tell me now what the central government do you punjab if you follow according to the constitution if you want to be in india then please take care about your people don't ask that i want a separate country we will be in a very good relationship but if you tell that i want to go from this house i want to go from this country then i will not keep quiet i will impose emergency on you so in order to maintain the federalism in order to maintain the good relationship in order to make the country to be united sometimes the government also should take strict action like small brother is telling that i don't want to be in this joint family i will divide whether the father will keep quiet first he will tell listen babu listen babu federalism if he is not listening what he will do he will take a stick and he start beating that in order to maintain the federal system we have what provisions emergency, emergency. in order to maintain that good relationship in order to make the country united federalism but if any state is doing over action then what i will do i will impose emergency provision so emergency provision is to protect what 
federal system, peace, universal brotherhood, staying together. So, these all are part of federal system. Here I will be discussing about this. And judiciary, there should be some person who should sit and tell that hey, this person, this person, correct, is according to good man, do not tell anything. Yes, he will listen the both sides and he will give the judgment. Some person should be there and that is judiciary. So, whether everything is running according to the constitution or not, who will check? Judiciary. Why? Because already the constitution was been made very beautifully, very properly it is articulated. Now, your duty is to just follow constitution. If anyone is not following the constitution, then who will give the punishment? Judiciary will give the punishment. So, the main duty of Supreme Court of India is to make the country to run according to the provisions of constitution. If any state or central government or any officer or any minister is violating the constitution, who will give the punishment? Judiciary will give the punishment. So, in the judiciary, what are all we will be studying? Supreme Court, judicial reforms, public interest litigation, judicial review, judicial activism, judicial overreach, new reforms in judicial system, high courts, tribunals, subordinate courts, these all things we will be studying under that ambit called as This all we will be studying under the belt called as judicial. Oh, Supreme Court, High Court, Padaya Jayega, Judicial Reforms, Tribunals, Subordinate, you heard about it, National Green, Trib Green Tribunal, National Green Tribunal, Company Law Tribunal. So, what are these tribunals? These all things we will be discussing under the judicial system of state government, then what we will study under state government, that is central government, this is state government, governor, chief minister, council of minister, state legislature, assemblies, state legislatures, special provisions for some states, there are some special provisions for Jammu and Kashmir earlier, earlier Jammu and Kashmir is having some special, northeastern states are having some provisions, what are the states which are having special provisions, special protections as well as governor ka role kya hai, chief minister ka role kya hai, council of minister what he will be doing, state legislature what are all things will be happening, Th those are two parallel bodies, one is parliament other is state legislature. In the first class itself I am revising what all I am going to, it is a trailer. So, these all topics we are going to discuss. Local governments. In that local governments, what we will be discussing? Panchayati Raj systems, municipalities, schedule areas, and tribal areas. Tribal areas means where the tribal are more in number. Schedule areas means in the mainstream India where the tribals are more in number. Municipalities means urban areas. Panchayat means rural areas. These all four come under what body? Local governments. First one what and how of the constitution, second one understanding of the constitution, third one system of central government, fourth one federal system, fifth one judiciary, sixth one state government, seventh one constitutional bodies, very good, constitutional bodies, kya kya hai constitutional bodies, what are all the bodies which are present in the constitution of India, election commission of India, your body, what is your body? UPSC, UPSC. union public service commission. UPSC, Union Public Service Commission, to become an IAS officer, to become an IPS officer, who will be conducting the exam? UPSC. Who gave the power? Constitution gave the power. How? It is present in the constitution. State public service like APPSCs, TSPSCs, Finance Commission, GST Council, National Commission for SC, National Commission for ST, National Commission for BC. Special officer for linguistic minorities, these are all the bodies very, very in detail we will be discussing with respect to constitutional bodies, <coughs> in relation to constitutional bodies. Non-constitutional bodies, non-constitutional bodies, what are these non-constitutional bodies like CVC, CBA, Central Information, all the non-constitutional, raw research analysis wing, raw research. So, how all these bodies will be functioning, what are the powers of this, we will be discussing under non-constitutional bodies and finally, committees and commissions. So, various expert committees will be constituted to study about it, committees and commission recommendations. 
So, in this way I this is my I divided into 10 broad topics and in every topic there will be subunits. In every topic there will be subunits which is first one is how and what of the constitution, second is understanding of the constitution, third is system of central government, fourth is federal system, fifth is judiciary, sixth is system of state government, seventh is local governments, eighth is constitutional bodies and ninth is non-constitutional bodies. Death is if you read this 10 topics, 10 broad modules, your Indian polity is completed your Indian polity is completed and if you are strong in Indian polity, any government exam, mainly UPSC exam you can clear very well, this 10 topics. So, I will give you some previous years questions, how the questions are there, PYQ, previous years questions, current affairs also I will discuss, current every weekly current affairs you will be having, current affairs classes also I will be having. For example, next last week current affairs class, tomorrow it is there. If you want to come, you can come and sit, but now you are beginner, no, slowly, slowly you start, morning, we will post. UPSC mains 2023 means two day, one week back question paper, what type of questions they ask it, we will see. <clears throat> Constitutionally guaranteed judicial independence is a prerequisite of democracy means judiciary should act independently or judiciary should not work independently, you tell me. I am there whether I should be biased to one student and I should be unbiased to another student, I should be independent to one student, I should be independent to another student, I should be showing partiality to one student, I should not show how I should be independent. Similarly, judiciary also should work independently, independently means unbiased not not bending for money or anything acting independently so independent judiciary is a prerequisite for democracy it's a, if i am a teacher whether i should be biased to one student and i should unbiased to another student or i should be unbiased to everyone means i should be independent or i should be dependent when i am independent i can deliver the class properly similarly the judiciary also should work Satantranga. Who are entitled to receive free legal aid, assess the role of the National Legal Service Authority. There is an authority called as National Legal Service Authority, which will provide free legal aid. Means one case has been booked on me. I do not have money to pay to the lawyer. If I go to the NALSA, they will arrange one advocate to me. That is called as free legal service. So, where this office is there, what they will be providing me, they ask her this question, whether it is a general knowledge or not. Third, the states in India seem reluctant to empower urban local bodies, bo urban local bodies means what? Municipalities. Urban local bodies means they asked about municipalities, whether we discussed or not. Compare and contrast the British and Indian approach of parliamentary sovereignty. So, how our parliament is there, how British parliament is there, that comparison also we will be discussing. Role of presiding officers of state legislature in maintaining order and impartiality in conducting legislative work. Who is the presiding officer of Lok Sabha? Means who will be sitting in the chair in the Lok Sabha? Speaker. Who will be sitting in the state assembly? Speaker of the state. So, what are the power? Indirectly, they are asking about the powers of speaker. That anyhow, we will be discussing in the classroom. Means what? 2023 question paper is on the expected lines. No new bouncer question. These are the five questions which are asked in Indian polity. We will talk about 2022. 2022 also. The most significant achievement of modern law in India is the constitutionalization of environmental problems by the Supreme Court. Discuss this statement with help of relevant case laws means what? Environment. Supreme Court multiple times told that having clean air, pure drinking water, very good environment is also a fundamental right. Means it is a responsibility of the central government to provide pure air, pure drinking water and very good environment. If any person is not getting this, then it is violation of fundamental right. Why? Because it is a fundamental right. How? 
that is expected question right of movement and residence throughout the territory of india are freely available to the indian citizens but these rights are not absolute means right to move right to settle you tell me whether i can move everywhere and whether i can settle everywhere for example whether i can go to the tribal areas and settle in tribal areas we are not we are not allowed tribal areas are exclusively for tribals only means understand the questions polity application questions will be there applied questions will be there discuss the role of vice presidents of india as the chairman of the rajya sabha vice president elections happened in 2022 that is the reason they asked about vice president role of national commission for backward classes ncbc what is this national commission for bc what are all the functions they will be doing discuss essential conditions for exercise of legislative powers by the governor what is the role of governor whether in our syllabus governor is there see all the questions in the mains are from the syllabus which we will be studying that is you have to identify it that means in this 10 what we studied if you properly understand finish your preparation has been complete i showed with pyq mains i will show with pyq prelims 2022 and 2023 i told you know at one place schedule area what is this see if a particular area is brought under fifth schedule fifth schedule means schedule area another name for schedule area is fifth schedule direct question or not schedule area another name is fifth schedule if a particular area is brought under schedule area of the constitution of india which one of the following statements is best if the consequence you know schedule area means tribal only ya hmm? i told you this schedule area means tribals where tribals are located prevent the transfer of land of tribal people create a local self governing body this would convert the area into indian territory the state having such areas would be declared a special category what is this you know the answer no only tribal word is there and you know the schedule area talks about tribals so answer is which of the following are exclusive powers of lok sabha what are the powers of lok sabha president of india what are the powers of president of india government law officers public prosecutors and legal firms bar councils ministers into four ranks cabinet minister minister of state with independent charge ministers will be there no cabinet minister council of minister minister with independent charge they ask this also we will be discussing anti defection law very very important sometimes they will be jumping from one political party to another political party so i won from congress party i jumped into bjp means i cheated who not congress i cheated people why people thought i don't like b for example i don't like bjp so i was in congress so they voted for me then again i jumped into bjp then people are cheated or not people thought that i am part of congress so when the mlas or mps will be jumping from one political party to another political party they will be coming under one particular law which is called as so they will be disqualified as an mla they will be disqualified as mp anti defection law favorite question in easy question compulsory question they asked about it in this way we will be doing the indian polity so i discussed about how we have to do indian polity what are the topics which are present in the indian polity what are the main pyqs what are the prelims and in the next class we will go into the syllabus and our syllabus will be what what is the constitution mainly we will start with historical background first we will understand what is the constitution then we will go into the historical background what is the historical background that is very important very important historical background how this vibrant so powerful constitution came into existence what is the role of british india what is the role of indians who manufactured this constitution of india
Very, very, very quickly. Question should go very quick, fast, to the point. They, they, by writing the constitution, the people who wrote the constitution, they behaved like butlers of uh, the East India Company. Yeah. So these all things. These all things. They went in front of the yeah, yeah. East India Company. See, 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 bye. We will have a very good debate also at the time. We should have it. Yes. Of course, the recent discussion was India, that is Okay. Any more doubts about this polity? So, in this way, we will be going with Indian polity. Okay. Any doubts? When shall we have debate for this uh, one nation? One nation? It will take time. I will tell, I will tell. The page will always help us to write good answers. I hope so. Okay. Huh? So, tomorrow you will have Indian economy class, then again my class will be there. Polity and history we will continue. Okay? Thank you. Quality and history tomorrow. <coughs>